Hey, I'm Tashaka Armstrong. Thank you for joining me for another Tech for the Rest of Us. Today, we're looking at Beats by Dre's Studio 3 wireless headphones, new technology, pure adaptive noise canceling, a lot to get into, let's do it. When you open the box, you're greeted by headphones which look very much like the Beats Solo 3s. These are larger though, as they're the top of the line over ear, that's circumoral, product. But the styling cues are very much in line with Beats current design language. You'll find the power button, power LEDs, and micro USB charge port on the right ear cup. The left ear cup is where you'll find the volume and phone call control, as well as an indicator light, which tells you whether or not pure ANC is active. And that's really it for external controls. They are simple and intuitive. When Beats announced the new Studio 3 wireless, they said they upped the comfort level of the ear padding for all day wear, and they weren't kidding. The ear pads are amongst the most comfortable I've worn at this price point. Bonus, the padding is thick enough and creates such a quality seal that a lot of background noise is actually blocked passively just by wearing them alone. In the box, along with the headphones, you'll get a nice case, micro USB charge cable, and three and a half millimeter aux cable to go wired if you need it. In most instances, you probably won't, especially if you're using the headphones with an Apple product. The Beats Studio 3 wireless have Apple's W1 chip built in, which is a great addition and will get you up to 22 hours of playback with pure ANC turned on and around 40 hours in low power mode with ANC turned off. And if your power should drain to zero, you can charge for 10 minutes and you're going to get around three hours worth of playback. The W1 chip also ensures that your connection to all of your iCloud connected wireless products is instant. Once you've paired with one, you should be good to go with all of them. So connect to your iPhone and your iPad and MacBook Pro receive the Bluetooth connection data via iCloud and you're automatically paired across all products without having to repeat the initial pairing process. In addition to the W1 chip, the Studio 3s also feature Class 1 Bluetooth, which is a higher powered radio than previous generation Bluetooth radios and gives you stronger, more reliable connections to your devices across longer distances. For example, here I am in the back of the building at Fox 11 Studios in Los Angeles. I'm walking all the way to the end of our driveway gate, which is approximately 80 to 90 feet. This whole walk, I got no static, and I did not disconnect from my iPad Pro. I maintained a solid connection the whole walk, no static, and it was windy outside, and sometimes atmospheric disturbances, like a little bit of wind, can interrupt or add static to your Bluetooth connection, but in this case, it was pristine, crystal clear the whole time. Now that we have the looks and tech covered, let's get to what you really care about, the performance. So one of my favorite places to test the noise canceling capabilities of a pair of headphones is right here at the Fox 11 studio and it's our machine room. I'm going to take you inside there right now. So we tested the Beats Studio 3 wireless inside the machine room. The machine room is the room that houses servers, uh, data storage machines, and it has both a high frequency and low frequency hum. In my testing, I found that the Beats Studio 3 wireless actually eliminated both the high frequency and the low frequency hum, where other headphones with noise canceling functionality only eliminated the low frequency hum. Uh, for those of you who may not know the difference, low, high, that means low frequency is usually your bassy uh, sounds, your bass heavy sounds. High frequency would be high pitch uh, hums. So again, Studio 3 wireless passes the machine room test with flying colors. Pure adaptive noise canceling technology is actually quite the technological beast. What is it exactly? Well, it's software which uses algorithms to calibrate your listening experience by sampling your environment, operating it up to 50,000 times a second according to Beats. It also takes into account and adjusts for leakage or the amount of sound that comes out of the ear cups while you're wearing them that might be the result of you wearing glasses or a particular hairstyle or even the shape of your ears. This all happens in real time and takes approximately five seconds for an adjustment to occur when adapting to one's environment. 
The Studio 3s show that Beats took the time to listen to users and create an audio experience which is tuned, not flat, but well balanced. To put it plainly, the Studio 3s sound great. I put them through my usual battery of FLAC files and streaming music, and they reproduced everything with a plum. Everything from Nas to Fela Kuti to Paul Simon to Skrillex and Daft Punk sounded glorious. I even went back to the source for beats and listened to some lossless Dr. Dre cuts off his iconic Chronic album. I figured it apropos given what device I'm listening to. Dr. Dre is known for his attention to detail when it comes to music mastering, and it shows when you listen to a song like Nothing But A G Thing. You can pick out nuances in the track, like the depth of the reverb on Dr. Dre and Snoop's vocal tracks, or how the tambourine appears more present stereo right, the guitar riff centered, marvelous. For those with an earshot of you, they'll be happy to know that if they don't want to be in on your little party, they won't be. I asked several people to tell me what they heard when next to me while I was blasting tunes and none of them heard a thing. So, sound leak? No, not a problem. Not even in the slightest. And that's it, the Beats by Dre Studio 3 Wireless. I have to admit, I really enjoyed using these from the looks to the weight to the sound quality and the pure adaptive noise canceling, which every time I put them on somebody new, they actually wound up with a huge smile on their face as the adaptive sound adapted to the background, to the noise, and it melted into nothingness and all they could hear was the music in loud environments. Pretty cool. Always fun to show people new technology. Hey, if there are any questions I did not answer in the video, leave them in the comments section below. I'll get to them. Thank you for watching.